Hi, it's Katrina. From tigers protecting their young from crocodiles to drunk gorillas on the prowl, here are 10 times animals messed with the wrong opponent. Number 10. Chimps versus Raccoon One day in October 2012, a wild raccoon wandered into the chimpanzee enclosure at the St. Louis Zoo. The angry chimps chased the raccoon down, surrounded him, tossed him around, and even threw him into the air. Zoo-goer Adam Brucker captured the entire ordeal on video using his cell phone. They're hunting, a mother explained to her child. You know how daddy hunts deer? Well, that's one way of putting it. Having learned his lesson about invading the chimp's space, the poor raccoon attempted to escape through a drain pipe in the enclosure, but the chimps were not finished inflicting their punishment on the unfortunate animal. One of them grabbed the raccoon by the tail and his cage mates commenced with an additional beating, perhaps to drive the point home that his presence there was unwelcome. Somehow, the raccoon survived the traumatic encounter and eventually escaped, although this happy ending to the scuffle was not captured on camera. Michael Walsh of the New York Daily News summed up the event more or less perfectly when he said, zoos showcase the beauty of the animal kingdom as well as its harshness. Number 9. Wasp vs. Tarantula Sometime in 2017, a 9-year-old boy named Cash Perry captured video footage of a tarantula hawk wasp attacking a tarantula in Arizona. Perry and his family encountered the gruesome sight while on their way to go hiking, and the little boy seized the opportunity to film it for the world to see. Tarantula hawks are incredibly large, parasitic wasps who prey on tarantulas, hence the epic battle that ensues after the Perrys hit the record button. Little Cash narrated the confrontation splendidly, first pointing out, correctly so, that one sting from the tarantula hawk wasp could paralyze his opponent. In fact, that's exactly what the wasp is attempting to do to the large spider in the footage. Once a tarantula hawk paralyzes a tarantula, it will lay an egg inside the spider's belly, which Cash's father points out the insect is trying to do. Once the wasp larva hatches inside the tarantula, it eats the spider from the inside out, keeping it alive as long as possible by avoiding vital organs at first. You gotta save those for later. The entire process can take several gruesome weeks, according to National Geographic. Eventually, the wasp successfully stings and paralyzes the tarantula, which Cash's mom points out is so sad. She's certainly not wrong, but I suppose that now is a good time to point out that while nature can be beautiful, it can also be brutal, and the tarantula was simply facing both a losing battle and a very unfortunate reality. Number 8. Primate Family Fight just like humans, animals occasionally fight within their own species and even their own families. I mean, just think about all of us in lockdown and how we've been dealing with it. Sometimes you have good days and bad days, and animals have the right to be cranky too. This is precisely what happened at the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle earlier this year, when things got out of hand between a family of six gorillas inside their shared enclosure. Zookeepers did not witness the early morning altercation, but they encountered its shocking aftermath, including an injured two-and-a-half-month-old male, Kitoko. So they took a look at the security camera footage to see what had happened. The brawl went down in the gorilla's sleeping den, and while the family fight was unexpected, it did not necessarily surprise their caretakers. Gorillas tend to be gentle giants, but conflicts among family members do occur in zoos and in nature, Woodland Zoo mammal curator Martin Ramirez told Fox San Antonio. Conflicts can involve biting and shoving among individuals. We suspect one of the adult females may have inadvertently bitten the baby while engaged in a skirmish. Living within the enclosure were little Kitoko, his father, Kwame, his mother, Uzuma, two other females, and another baby. Veterinarians are optimistic about Kitoko's recovery, and in the meantime, zookeepers focus on maintaining peace within the family unit. Number 7. Rhinos Teach Hippo a Lesson In mid-2019, Mike Kirkland, the head ranger at a private game reserve in South Africa, captured rare and shocking footage of a confrontation between a hippopotamus and a group of rhinoceroses near the remote Mala Mala airstrip. How did the hippo end up there? In an interview with Latest Sightings, Kirkland explained that a recent drought, and or a curiosity or loneliness perhaps, had likely prompted the hippo to wander from its usual area. I don't think it had anything to do with food or resource disputes as we were far from the river and there was no grass on the runway to fight over. I think this hippo may have simply been lonely or bored or simply curious, Kirkland said. At first, one rhino demonstrates patience with the unexpected guest, as well as the hippo's somewhat aggressive advances. 
But soon enough, the rhino's patience runs thin and he gives chase to the intruder. Thankfully, it seems as though the rhino didn't seem too set on chasing the hippo since rhinos can run at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour, while hippos top out at 19 miles per hour and the fleeing animal seemed to escape its pursuer. Kirkland watched the confrontation for a few minutes but eventually headed back to his camp. I'm not sure what the final outcome of the interaction would have been, but we never saw any injured animals afterwards, so I can only assume that it ended peacefully, he said. As you can see, it's not an overly aggressive meeting, but more of a confused one. Since everyone apparently walked away unscathed, hopefully the encounter was a lesson learned about not messing with the wrong opponent. Number 6. Tiger vs. Crocodile In one of the most shocking battles between wild animals ever captured on camera, a tiger named Machli made news headlines around the world when she was filmed killing a 14-foot crocodile in a wetland area of India's Ranthambore Tiger Reserve. Machli, whose name means fish in Hindu, attacked the reptilian to protect her cubs and in doing so earned the nickname Queen of Rathambore as the iconic footage circulated the internet. She quickly became the most famously photographed wild tiger and boosted the Tiger Reserve's tourism profits to over $8.5 million annually. The tough mama tiger is known to have killed at least three crocodiles in total in defense of her little ones, and she was also seen occasionally warding off invasive male tigers. Mochley passed away in 2016 at age 19, vastly outliving the average tiger's lifespan of 12 to 14 years, thanks to the forestry workers who continued feeding her after she was no longer strong enough to hunt on her own. Unfortunately though, nobody lives forever, including Mochley, who eventually succumbed to the effects of old age. Throughout her lifetime, she raised several litters of cubs, including those she was protecting from the crocodiles that she killed, and she even lived to meet 11 of her grand cubs. Mochley's admirers gave her a farewell fit for a goddess, draping her with flower garlands following a post-mortem exam, which concluded that the tiger passed away from natural age-related causes. Park officials took extra care to ensure that none of her remains ended up in the illegal wildlife trophy trade, especially since the thousands of images taken of Mochley throughout her life are plenty enough to remember her by. The footage of a tiger administering a death bite to a crocodile was the first altercation of its type ever caught on camera. Number 5. Canadian Grizzlies Have a Disagreement This time it was two bears versus each other. Canada is a land of natural beauty, endless leagues of forests, snow-dusted mountains, elks taller than most cars, and yes, big, powerful grizzly bears. It was in September of 2019 that a woman came across two grizzlies on the side of the road near the border between Canada and Alaska, in one of the wildest places in the world. Incredibly enough, she came upon these bears in the middle of a heated argument. In a video posted by the onlooker, two huge male grizzly bears roar and shove each other from one side of the road to another. The brawl is as intense as it gets. Grizzly bears are true giants of the Canadian wilderness, heavy and fiercely territorial when it comes to mating season. You can see the raw power of these two beasts as they roar and try to take bites out of one another. In fact, the bear fight is so exciting that a small wolf appears on the side of the road to enjoy the show, free of charge. Is the wolf as amazed by this unexpected encounter as us? We can only guess. But in any case, the video ends with the victorious bear chasing the other one across the road, likely kicking its butt from its territory. Remember this incredible encounter next time you're in bear territory. Number 4. Jaguar vs. Crocodile In 2017, terrifying photos of a jaguar named Scarface attacking a crocodile in Brazil's Pantanal National Park surfaced online. The pictures were captured the previous year by big cat photographer Steve Winter, who spent four days relentlessly tracking the then 10-year-old jaguar along a river after noticing a cut on the animal's lip. During the pursuit, Winters and his cameraman, Bertie Gregory, watched as Scarface lunged at and missed at least 12 targeted victims, leading them to think that they might not capture footage of an attack. In a National Geographic interview recounting his experience in the stifling hot, 115-degree Fahrenheit jungle, Winter actually admitted getting frustrated at his lack of success documenting a kill. Finally, right as he was about to give up, Scarface dove into the water and in less than 15 seconds, the photographer got what he came for. Images of the jaguar on a successful hunt, emerging from the water with a caiman crocodile clamped between his jaws. What's most shocking about the ordeal is that the crocodile was nearly twice Scarface's size. Even though jaguars are impressively large cats in their own right, they are the third biggest cat in the world. 
the swift hunter effortlessly dragged his prey into the woods where Winter presumes he bit into the caiman's vertebrae and killed it. It should be noted that while encounters between jaguars and crocodiles aren't documented very often, it's fairly common for the big cats to target the crocodiles for their next meal. Number 3. Hippo and Elephant Face-Off In August 2013, photographer Nicole Cambra documented a face-off between an angry hippopotamus and an African elephant who invaded its turf in Botswana. Cambra, who lives in Brussels and is also a lawyer, explained that there is an island in the middle of the Chobe River to which this elephant had crossed. The hippo was not happy about it and was apparently defending its territory. The photographer watched and recorded as the partially submerged hippo approached the African elephant, who stood calmly near the river. The fearless and angry hippo bared his jaws and teeth as he emerged onto the island and attempted to intimidate his newfound adversary, who also happens to be the world's largest land animal. Meanwhile, the elephant bowed his head in preparation for a possible battle, and the hippo refused to back down, until reinforcements appeared to provide backup for the elephant. When more elephants crossed the river to the island, the hippo backed off and went back into the river. Sounds like he made the smart choice, especially because while hippos can pose a very real threat to humans and many other animals, one is typically no match against a full-grown elephant. Number 2. Drunk Gorilla vs. Wildlife Photographer Almost any wildlife photographer will probably tell you that their chosen profession comes with inevitable hazards and risks. After all, you can't predict how Mother Nature or wildlife will behave, and both can turn on you at any given moment without warning. If he didn't already know this, one wildlife photographer, Christophe Courteau, learned this exact lesson in early 2015 while taking snapshots of mountain gorillas in Rwanda's Volcanoes National Park. Seemingly out of nowhere, the group's 550-pound alpha male charged at Courteau, who skillfully captured an image of the gorilla swinging his fist right before it made contact with the poor photographer. The angry gorilla was reportedly drunk from eating bamboo stems, which can ferment in the animal's stomachs, causing intoxication, according to Cater's news agency. In less than a second, he was on me and strongly hit me like a rugby player, Courteau recalled. With the shock, I felt all his power and weight on my body. The photographer further explained that gorillas are usually timid, at least in his experience, and that they typically avoid close contact with people. But as we all know, a little too much alcohol can easily lead to aggression, and this apparently applies to members of the animal kingdom besides ourselves. In fact, Courteau believed that the drunk gorilla didn't necessarily even intentionally target him. He didn't care about me and pushed me out of the way with his left hand like I was not there, the man said. Then he dashed through the vegetation to chase away a rival male behind us who looked to be interested in one of the females. This terrifying incident reminds us that humans are animals too, and that sometimes we mess with the wrong opponents, even just by getting a little too close to the action. Number 1. Three-Way Clash in Kenya in late 2018, a safari live crew watched and filmed as a tense confrontation broke out between a herd of African elephants, a pair of black rhinoceroses, and a group of lions on Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve. It all started when some young, curious lions began sniffing around some adult rhinos who were protecting a calf. Aware of the looming threat, an adult bull rhino charged at the lurking lions. A barricade of five elephants soon emerged onto the scene, as the filmers captured the sound of trumpeting from somewhere out of view. Seemingly aware that they were outnumbered, the lions took the elephant's presence as a sign that it was time to vacate the premises and ran off. The alpha male rhino who had charged at the lions was undeterred, however, and confidently faced off with the elephants, almost as if he was ready to charge at the Tusk giants. Meanwhile, the lions watched from a distance. Surprisingly, the rhinos won the confrontation, and the elephants peacefully retreated back to wherever they came from, despite vastly outsizing and outnumbering their adversaries. I don't think the young lions were much of a threat, but the addition of the elephants is what changed the entire situation, International Rhino Foundation Executive Director Susie Ellis told National Geographic. A close-up analysis of the footage showed that like the rhinos, the elephants also had a calf with them, which could explain why things almost came to blows between the two herbivores, who seem like unlikely enemies. But why didn't the lions, who are known for being vicious carnivores, attack? Probably because it's likely that they knew they couldn't take on a fully grown rhino or an elephant. Thanks for watching! Were you surprised by any of these? What's your favorite animal? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you are new here. See you next time! Bye!